Hello and welcome once again to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Amata. Today is the 17th of July and this time I have some news for you from MPD as I do, ha do have the June 2015 MPD group report. Now there's quite a bit of information here so let's get stuck straight in. With top sales for new physical games and hardware are US, US retailers being up 18% in June compared to the same period last year. And hardware, software, and accessories generated 869.4 million in spending during the five week period from May 31st through to July 4th. Software had an especially good month with 345.5 million in revenues, which is actually up 21% year over year. Now, Part of that jump can be partially attributed to the fact that we didn't have any big new releases in June of last year, but it doesn't look like game sales are going to slow down as we are only accelerating towards the busy period. And this is backed up by some comments from MPD analyst Liam Callahan, who said, quote, This is the fourth month of year-over-year -year increases so far in 2015 for software. Through the first half of the year, software is up 3%. With a strong lineup of games through the remainder of the year, there is the potential for a positive growth in the second half of the year as well. However, hardware did have a pretty good showing as well, as people said 8% more than last year to bring the total up to a not bad 313.1 million. Now, obviously, we're going to be starting to get to a point where, of course, the very much slowing down sales of the Xbox 360 and PS3 have normalised, so it's not going to be tugging down the numbers like it has in previous months. Now, while we're on the subject of hardware, I have another statement here from Liam Callahan, who said, quote, Hardware sales grew by 8% overall. Eighth generation consoles like PS4 and Xbox One are leading the way with 15% growth over June 2014, offsetting declines in seventh generation and portable hardware sales. Now, they also pointed out that hardware sales have changed compared to last year. This time last year, only 35% of all console sales were bundled with a game, and that's very much the opposite of this year, where bundles actually make up 82% of all hardware sales. Now, you might have already seen that Sony have confirmed to GamesBeat that PS4 was once again the top-selling console for the month, and of course has been outselling both the Xbox One and the Wii U for quite a few months now. The Xbox One did of course beat the PS4 a couple of times, but most of the time the PS4 has been on top in terms of sales. Let's move on to software though, as we do have the top 10 as well as a bit of information regarding sales and whatnot. Not surprisingly, we have Batman Arkham Knight at number 1, Elder Scrolls Online, Tamriel Unlimited at 2, Lego Jurassic World at 3, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt at 4, Splatoon at 5, Minecraft at 6, GTA 5 still going strong at 7, Mortal Kombat X at 8 and NBA 2K15 at 9 with Call of Duty Advanced Warfare at number 10. Now, apparently Batman had a huge hand in the strong comparison of the industry compared to last June, and it's already the second best-selling year release of the year, only trailing behind Mortal Kombat X, of all things. And Liam said, quote, Sales of Arkham Knight slightly exceeded October 2011 sales of Batman Arkham City, which is remarkable considering the difference in hardware installed bases. Now, naturally, as the... But Batman Arkham Knight release was rather huge, it did help show the good result we had from Sony with the PlayStation 4. Sony have already said that Batman helped the PS4 sales with the bundle that they had going on, but even in this mind, the game still sold better on PS4 than on Xbox One. Now, the reason this is worth mentioning is because MPD does not include bundled games, so the fact that there was a lot of bundles being sold isn't really being taken into account when they say Batman sold better on the PS4. And he said, quote, if sales were included from hardware bundles, Arkham Knight is the best-selling game of 2015 so far. And then when he spoke about the industry in general, he said, quote, with hits like Batman Arkham Knight, The Witcher 3, Mortal Kombat X and Dying Light, Warner Brothers Interactive is the top corporate publisher so far in 2015, with dollar sales growing 217% versus the first half of 2014. Now, obviously, that's not counting in the huge amount of refunds they undoubtedly got from the absolutely botched PC port, but I think that's a completely different topic that we've kind of talked to death at this point. Anyway, that's me done. Some very, very interesting information. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.